in this video the objective of this video is to measure angle uh, before measuring we're going to estimate the angle and even name the type of angle so let us write first the types of angles you should be knowing so types of angles basically there are say four types of angle one is say called the acute angle I'll say only acute an angle is acute which is an angle which is greater than zero and less than 90 an angle any angle which is between 0 and 90 or right, this is the greater Z this is how you read acute angle is greater than 0 and less than 90 okay the second angle is called the right angle I'll say only right right angle is an angle which measures exactly 90 degrees we are talking in degrees okay uh, the next type of angle is say called the obtuse angle uh, the obtuse angle so you can now make a guess an obtuse angle would be between which two angles it is always between 90 degree any angle which is greater than 90 and less than 180 is an obtuse angle and the fourth type of angle is called a reflex angle I'll write only a reflex reflex a reflex angle is an angle is greater than 180 but less than 360 okay now one more fact that you should know is half in some books they say a quarter turn a quarter turn means it's always anti-clockwise you can also go clockwise a quarter turn clockwise or anti-clockwise is 90 degree okay so a half half turn if a quarter turn is 90 degree a half turn was 180 degree and a full turn a full turn is 360 degree or in other words this means angles at a point or in other words I'll not write this as a rule you can see when you do a full turn you are turning 360 degree okay so if you so this is, uh, if you go, what, what do I mean by full turn? A full turn, suppose you start from here. Let me use a different color. You start from here and you come back. Okay, so this is called a full turn. This is a full turn. Okay, but my intention is to measure this angle, so I'll delete this. Okay, so I'm, using, I'm going to use an electronic protractor so if you have a protractor you should get your protractor out okay so you can uh, now this is my protractor I'm highlighting this and dragging it up okay okay so this is oops this is my protractor I don't want to make it bigger this is quite bigger quite big so I want to make it a bit smaller I think that's enough okay I don't want this Okay, so I'm going to drag this and uh, put it like this. Now, this is one of the things that I have always struggled to teach to students where I can't bring a huge uh, protractor on the board. Now, yeah, the good thing is you have a protractor that you can see. Now, to measure any angle, you should first uh, align or set your zero degree with the base angle base now any angle so let me drag this down okay now this angle has got two arms okay so this these are the two arms uh, any angle is mean by two arms so let us call this the base arm okay it may have a different name I don't know so this is called let us call this the base arm so to measure an angle what we're going to do is we're going to align or adjust or coincide your zero your zero degree so now your zero degree with uh, the base arm so yeah you can re, uh, you can measure this angle in, uh, in any angle in two different ways you have got 
0 to 180 uh, anti-clockwise and here you got 0 to 180 in a clockwise direction. Now to measure this angle, so this 0 coincides with this 0 coincides with the base arm and so you are reading this scale not the upper scale okay so not don't ignore the outer scale you're looking looking at the inside scale so you're going in other in other words you're going anti-clockwise and if you look at the arrow we are measuring anti-clockwise from the base arm to the measuring arm okay so here yeah, this this is 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree and 40 degree so this is 40 and this is about 41 you can say 41 or 42 or it's 41.5 now i will make the electronic uh, protractor to measure it so i can drag this up and it will tell me the measure exactly so it's 41 degree can you see so this is oops so yeah it shows me if i put if i put yeah so this is 41 degree okay so we can say this is 41 degrees so let me drag this out so this angle is 41 degree okay so it's always also good practice to miss estimate the angle so you can see this is around 45 and it's exactly 41 okay now this angle First, let us estimate whether it's an acute angle or right angle or obtuse angle. So this is your base, your, you say this is your base arm. Let us call this the base arm. Okay, now this is not acute, it's not less than 90, it's more than 90. So it should be more than 90 and less than 180. So it's an obtuse angle. So this is my protractor. So let me highlight it and drag it up okay so now to measure it you have to put your this is say the center of the protractor let me go a little up so get coincide or align your center of the protractor with the vertex of the of the angle okay now this is called the vertex this point is called the vertex so let us use let us do measure without the pro uh, let me make this a bit bigger small this is quite big so this is so yeah i can read this is zero degrees so we are looking at the inside scale so zero this is 90 this is 120 so it's 125 degree okay so yeah this is 120 and this 125 degrees so i'll say and let me check uh, let me even drag this up and say this is 125 degree exactly okay so I can drag this out now and I can write this is 125 degree okay the next angle okay this ex seems to be exactly right angle uh, let us measure it okay so yeah this is again my protractor so let me drag it up okay now yeah same thing you this is the center of the protractor with the vertex coincide or align or uh, make sure that the center of the protractor coincides with the vertex and so this is zero degree again you're measuring from the left clockwise so this is exactly 90 if i want to make it a bit smaller you can see this is exactly 90 degree okay so let me drag this out so we can see this is this notation is for 90 degree okay now finally this is an up this is a reflex angle okay so yeah this is an acute angle so let us use a bit of algebra so if this is x and this is y i can say x plus y is equal to 360 because that's a full turn x plus y is equal to 360 degree so you can measure y or you can measure x and then take away that x from 360 that will give you y okay so let me make this a bit smaller this is too 
demonic or oh, this is too big okay not demonic sorry <laughs> so let me drag this up and I'm going to measure only X okay so again coincide your center of the protractor with the vertex and coincide your slightly bigger this is good so this is zero with the this is your base arm this is your base arm okay so uh, adjust the base arm with the zero and it is uh, 10 degree 20 degree this is 25 degree so this is 24 degree okay so let me write x is 24 degree i want to find y so I'll write an equation like this. So we know x plus y. So let us use it. Let us use here. Yeah. So I can say 24. This is 24 degree. Sorry. This is 24 degree. So I can say 24 plus y is 360 degree. So y is 360 minus 24. I'm not using a calculator. So this is 360 first, I'll take away 20, which is 340, okay, am I right? And then you have to take away 4, which is 336 degrees. So angle Y would be 336 degrees. Now I can make this protractor a full, yes, so this is a full circle. Now just to make sure, um, so let us drag this and make it coincide with this zero so you are measuring from here now you, this is your base arm okay if you want to see a full protractor so this I'm coinciding with zero so you're measuring from I want to measure y so we I have to go from year to year so zero the, we have said this 336 so exactly can you see this is 300 uh, 300 this is 330, this is 335 and 336. So angle Y is 336 degrees.